In 1977, NASA launched Voyager twins into space with images and recordings from Earth. The message aboard Voyager 1 and 2 is a kind of time capsule designed to tell a story of our world to aliens. But what is it really, and are aliens going to understand it? Attached to the outside of the Voyagers 1 and 2 is a phonograph record, or a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc, which contains sounds and images intended to portray life on Earth and the wonderful, rich culture of its dominant species. Each record is encased in a protective aluminum jacket, together with a cartridge and a needle. Data on the records were selected by a committee chaired by Carl Sagan. The team assembled 115 images encoded in analog form and a variety of natural sounds, which includes audio from humans, birds, whales, and other animals, as well as sounds made by surf, wind, and thunder. The Voyager records also convey instructions in symbolic language on how to play them, such as how to affix the attached stylus, at what rate of rotation the record must be spun, and the proper waveform of signals generated by the record. If the record is ever intercepted and decoded by extraterrestrials, it will not only reveal where to find our watery little world, but also when the space probe that delivered it to alien hands left home. But if they find the record, would they truly understand the message? Well, if they are smart enough, here's what they'll find. In the upper left-hand corner of the record is a drawing of the phonograph record and the stylus carried with it, which can show aliens how to actually play it. The information in the upper right-hand portion of the cover is designed to show how pictures are to be constructed from the recorded signals. The drawing in the lower left-hand corner of the cover is a unique galactic map. The stardust-like diagram is called a pulsar map because it shows the location of our sun relative to 14 pulsars, whose precise periods are given. For starters, pulsars are the collapsed cores of formerly massive stars that have been crushed to an extreme density by supernova explosions. They are incredibly long-lived, staying active for tens of millions to multiple billions of years. And the circles in the lower right-hand corner represent the hydrogen atom in its two lowest states, with a connecting line in digit 1 to indicate that the time interval associated with the transition from one state to the other is to be used as the fundamental time scale, both for the time given on the cover and in the decoded pictures. The record surface was also coated with pure uranium-238 to indicate the launch era of the probe. On the other hand, the musical selections chosen demonstrate a wide range of human musical styles, ranging from works of Beethoven and Stravinsky to those of Chuck Berry, among others. As for the 115 images, if decoded properly, aliens will find mathematical definitions, scales, and sizes, as well as additional information regarding our location and how to find us. There are also medical and scientific diagrams, including the structure of DNA and detailed images of human anatomy. Included in the record are also numerous images of humans engaged in a variety of activities, including eating, looking through a microscope, and even going on a spacewalk. While most people welcome the idea of the golden record, many others think it's dangerous and something that NASA should have never done. One of them was Stephen Hawking, which thought it would be much better for humans to keep a low profile, because these extraterrestrials very likely wouldn't be the cuddly types we hope for. But the good news is that Hawking thinks most aliens are likely the equivalent of microbes or simple animals, so it would be the highly evolved ones we'd have to watch out for. Regardless, the truth is the Voyager probes are out there. The map can be found, the code can be broken, and a potentially hostile alien race could very well come here and use us for their own benefits.